Big Dude and Hot Food here, and we're back again with another spicy review. Today we've got two treats that I'm gonna try. One I think is gonna be a little bit more mild. These are the air dried beef chili and lime steak from Sims, which is an Aldi brand. And uh, their stuff is usually good, as good, maybe better sometimes, you know, it yeah. just depends on what it is. So this could be pretty awesome. And I'm wondering, you know, what's the difference with the air dried versus just like a regular beef jerky? I'm hoping that one will be tasty and actually spicy. I don't know, we'll see. This one is apparently supposed to be really spicy. The Daibok Ghost Pepper Spicy Chicken Flavor Spicy Madness. There's a Flaming Spicy Madness. How many times does it say? It says it all, or is it daring? Flaming Spicy Madness. Dry butt noodles. So I guess it's just dried noodles. <laughs> Hashtag can or not challenge. Do you fear the ghost pepper? Take the dare and challenge other souls in the depths of spiciness. Eat at your own risk. <laughs> Hashtag can or not challenge. Diebot ghost pepper spicy chicken flavored dry black cup noodles is the full name. <laughs> Alright, hashtag can or not challenge. I've seen a few other people eat this online and okay. they've said it's been pretty spicy so I'm hoping that it is. Uh, but I think I should try the less spicy thing that I'm thinking first. Probably try the dry aged noodles first. This dry one. Dry aged noodles? Yeah. Dry aged beef. Air dry beef. It's like this, this. <laughs> Alright, so Sims. Thinly sliced steak, chili lime, air dried beef. Indulge in the ultimate meat snack encounter. Through a careful air drying technique, the meat is gently dehydrated at ambient temperatures, leaving a tender product and changing the common toughness found in overly cooked jerky. All right, so that's how they do it. Our philosophy is simple. Treat your meat snacks as you would a steak. After all, who would cook a steak for eight hours? With no preservatives, the product proudly presents an uncomplicated, authentically pure flavor. Okay, that's a pretty bold claim. Uh, there's not a lot in it. I mean, really, it's beef, salt, vinegar, 2% or less of spices, garlic, onion, citric acid, orange, lime juice, natural flavors, spice extractives, including paprika, sugar, celery salt, and cayenne pepper. So, it'll probably have a little bit of a spice to it, but it probably won't be too crazy. No. Usually there's a ton more stuff in beef jerky. Yes, there's no real, like, major allergies uh -huh. in there, does it say? No, that's it. Yeah, if you want to, like, check it out. That's part of their selling thing. It's, like, all natural or something. So maybe it'll be no, better. No saturated fat. Wow. Yeah. So five grams of fat and then... It's yeah. gonna have some. No carbs. That's pretty good, then. 32 grams of protein. Now, the real question is... Right? How does it taste? Because <laughs> all this is all well and good, but wait, we haven't even tasted this thing yet. Yeah, I mean, if it's good, I might have to try it. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> Please tell me. Yes! It worked. Well, I think it worked. There we go. All right. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, you can smell it's got that cayenne in there. Nice smell, nice fresh smelling beef actually. Here, it smells like beef jerky, but not quite as like pungent as you would normally have from it. Yeah, it's, it's not beef jerky actually, it's the other one that I can't remember the name of. There's what? another dried meat snack that's very similar uh, to jerky. Look it up, look it up, look it up. Dried meat. I think it's... Bit long. Is that it? Yes! Or built on. Built on, yeah. On. Yeah. Bit long. I was like, bit bit long. Long. Southern African countries. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I have seen that. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be similar to jerky, but a lot better for you. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's like a take on that, basically. It's built on, yeah. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, it doesn't have nearly as much stuff in it. it smells good though. Yeah. It smells really like it's gonna have some flavor. So. Because it's a slightly different texture than jerky. Yeah. Okay. Definitely smell the cayenne citrusy kind of smell to it, you know, from the lime. Let's just dig in and find out what it tastes like. Try not to eat the desiccant though. Maybe that's too much. Let me grab a little bit less. Here we go. Mmm. That's interesting. It's a little different than jerky. 
Yeah, I forgot to tell you while we were at Aldi that it wasn't jerky, but I, I'm fine with that. I don't care, yeah. <laughs> Similar. Not quite as juicy as like some jerky would be, but it's not bad. How spicy is it? Not very. Just come on the salty side, so you don't want to have too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a kick. You can taste a little bit of a spice to it. For me, it's like a one though. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely like a one. I'm getting it finally. Yeah. Yeah, it's very mild. It's mild, but just nice. And it's got a good flavor. The lime is understated though. So it's it, you can taste lime in there, mm -hmm. but it's not like what I'd normally expect when it's, it's just it's chili a lime. Tiny <laughs> bit overpowered by how salty it is, but it's yeah. there. It's yeah. there. <clears throat> It's still really good though. No, yeah, it's really tasty and for uh, and for like a jerky alternative, I like it. It's really good. Yeah, it really actually, very, I mean, because the, this entire bag is one serving, so I mean. It's not bad. If you just didn't want to overdo it on the salt, you just. Don't eat the like whole half, thing. Yeah, half. eat half of it. Yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, but that's something that's going to happen with any kind of cured meat. You're going to have salt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be salty. But it does have a little bit of a spice. You know, that's nice. It's uh. And the smell, it's very appetizing too. It's like... Yeah, you're gonna be sent back to Aldi soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm that. getting more for sure. That's a winner. Let me see. I don't wanna give it back. <laughs> I just wanna sign out with it and you can have it back. <laughs> I'm a deep order. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I like it. That was really good. One out of 10 though on spice for me. I would say for me, it'd be like a three, and yeah. I'm pretty wimpy. So yeah, this one is pretty awesome. I'm definitely getting some more from Aldi. And if you have one near you, I would suggest you try it. If you like stuff that's a little bit spicy and you like jerky, you don't mind trying something that's a little bit different than normal jerky. Built on, essentially. I know it doesn't say it, but that's essentially what it is. Yeah. I guess it's just an American version of it. <laughs> so anyway, let's try this guy. Okay, now give me the... Get now it. you can have it back. Yes. Yay! <laughs> All right, so let's try this Daybok Ghost Pepper Dairy Noodles. Daybok Ghost Pepper Spicy Chicken Flavor Dry Black Cup Noodles. This one, way more stuff in it. <laughs> As with ramen, you kind of expect that. It's not any different than any of the other ramens out there. <laughs> it's got the same stuff. The difference I think will be is this is with black noodles. So I don't know like how those are different. Cocoa powder. Really? Hibiscus, starch, potato starch, palm oil, of course, tapioca, carrot, maltodextrin, citric acid. Interesting. Ghost pepper powder, the seasoning, water, sugar, spices, garlic powder, chili powder, ghost pepper powder, chicken flavor powder, roast meat powder, soybean, sesame oil. Oh, monosodium glutamate, there it is. Gotta have MSG, disodium, yeah, all this other stuff. Maltodextrin, guar gum, citric acid. Crustacea, fish, milk, peanuts, celery, mustard, mollusk, tree nut, coconut as the Crustacean. allergens. So maybe it's the noodle, the... I think it's just because it's on the same kind of stuff, it's what it's saying. Korean hot sauce, yeast eggs, uh, yeah. I don't know, doesn't seem that crazy. I mean, for ramen, that has a lot of spice. Like, see if I'm missing anything wild in there. Yeah, so the black noodle just comes from a mixture of cocoa powder and some extracts like carrot yeah. and... Hibiscus and... Should be interesting then. Yeah. I wonder what it'll taste like. Cocoa powder, huh? With ghost pepper. You probably wouldn't need a whole ton of cocoa powder to get the color without yeah. overpowering. But I wonder if that's like more sweet, savory, or like what, how that affects kind of the flavor overall. <clears throat> interesting. So we're gonna have to just uh, start, whoa, baby. <laughs> He's trying to make it so I can't finish the video, aren't you? And same sweatshirt. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Yes, Mrs. Dude isn't was an NSYNC girl back in the day. Okay. Backstreet Boys were great too, but I was always more of an NSYNC girl. All right, guys. So, okay. flaming spicy madness. Uh, this is a challenge, apparently. So we'll see if it's actually a challenge. I'm hoping it's spicy. I gotta go get this in the microwave, so let's go do that and we'll just see how spicy this actually is. Remove the lid completely, take out seasoning, 
sauce from the cup, pour water up to the line. Microwave three minutes high, drain the water. This has a little pokey thing, like that other one, where you poke the top. Or you can do the boiling water method. Maybe you do the boiling water method. Bye bye, why are you try to eat everything? <laughs> Cause I'm a dog. Look at this little fork that like folds up that came with it. <laughs> Definitely using that. Normally I would use my sriracha chopsticks, but that's interesting that it actually comes with them. It's ready for lunchtime, you know? That's cool. Yeah. It's actually not bad. It's not, look at this. It's actually not bad for a little foldable. It's pretty legit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. All right, I'm excited now. All right, now we wait four minutes. All right, we gotta drain these guys. They look like they're ready to go. I got a little taste of that the sauce and it's got a little bit, it's got some spice to it. So I'm excited. I got a bite of this stuff, of the sauce and it is crazy hot. So this is a product of Malaysia, but Daibak is a Korean company. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it means like very good or very pleasurable or something like that. Ooh, those noodles are cool looking. Look at this. It looks so awesome. Oh my God, that is really good. Are you in spice wow. heaven right now? Yeah, that's awesome. Let me take this all the way off. That's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, look at these noodles. Very dark. Can't really taste too much of the cocoa. So however much they used, it wasn't like a crazy amount. I like this fork though. It's holding up. Okay, the noodles I already look yeah. like this really gorgeous shade of eggplant purple actually. Mm. So out of ten, what do you think? Spice wise? Definitely a ten. You think it's a ten? Maybe an eleven, because I'm sweating. Look at me. You instantly turn away. <laughs> yeah, I hiccuped as soon as I got a big hit of the spice by itself. The the actual sauce. Yeah, you were still in the kitchen and I I said to you. Get in front of the camera and film. <laughs> Gotta see this. Ooh, this is hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, he is um, definitely perspiring. What more? Oh crap. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Did you go so crazy that you got some on the floor? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sweating. I had to get a towel. Oh man. Nope. Yeah. Okay. My god. Dybok isn't playing around. Uh, <laughs> definitely hot. 11 out of 10 chili peppers for me. Super duper spicy. My mouth is still burning. I'm sure my eyes are bloodshot and my mouth is on fire. So, that's a success. Glad I tried this second though. <laughs> Instead of trying to eat that before. Yeah. There's no way I could have given a good review of the air dried beef otherwise. But this was awesome. I'd definitely get this again. The flavor's on point. It's got that ghost pepper amount that makes me want to just like keep going and going and going. Are you crying or are you just sweating so hard? I'm it sweating. Looks, it looks like you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I am perspiring. Profusely, my eyes might be watering too. So, 11 out of 10, successful challenge with this guy. Big Dude and Hot signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Burn is finally subsiding after that die bot. Awesome ghost pepper, spicy noodles. Wow, they were hot. I would definitely get them again, but not for beginners, because that was probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes now. It's finally starting to taper off. So, very intense.